Who doesn't love new gear day? I've been in the market for a new sleeping bag for a while. The one I have is just a little too bulky for backpacking and ultimately what I landed on is the Nemo Disco. Typically, I figured that sleeping bags are kind of a straightforward piece of camping gear, but companies like Nemo are coming up with new and innovative features and the ones included in this bag were honestly a pretty big selling point and we'll get into those once I unbox and check out this bag. Brand new, this bag will run you $299.95, but I did find it online used for $221.12, saving me $78.83, which in my opinion is just gonna go to more gear that I need for the Colorado Trail. It was very important to me to get a sleeping bag that was very versatile, and while the Colorado Trail is on my mind, I didn't wanna spend a bunch of money for a sleeping bag I would use on this one big trip. So getting a 15 degree bag should give me a lot of options as far as maybe three season camping. So let's go ahead and tear into this box and see what we got. All right, let's see what we got. So I can see already that it came with the original stuff sack, which I'm excited about. Um, so here we go. Big and fluffy. All right. So I mentioned my other sleeping bag. I've had that bag for a very long time, probably since I was like 12 or 13. And I love the sleeping bag. It is just very heavy. I think it's a zero degree bag, but it weighs in over five pounds. And this bag weighs in at two pounds and 11 ounces. So that is a very welcome two pounds, however many ounces that I'm taking off my back, which I'm very excited for and the reason why I went with this purchase. But yeah, the 15 degree comes in this sort of blue and orange color. I didn't really care much about the color. But one of the main things that I was excited about is this foot box. Now it is made out of a slightly different material than the rest of the bag and they claim that it is waterproof. If you saw my last video about the new tent that I got, the Gossamer Gear The One, it is a single wall tent and inherently single wall tents experience a lot of condensation issues. This thing got really wet on the bottom. And on my last trip, I was using my old bag in my new tent and noticed that I was trying to do my best to keep the foot of my sleeping bag from touching the tent. But the waterproof foot box is gonna help alleviate some of those worries. Not being worried if my sleeping bag is touching the tent, if it's gonna get wet, if my feet are gonna get wet. The second feature are these thermo grill zippers or ventilation that they put in here. Um, and yes, I'm trying to think of something that's gonna be useful to me on the Colorado Trail, but also I wanted to buy something that I could use, you know, of course on other trips. And thinking that yes, this is a 15 degree bag, but I can always unzip it a little bit. And especially with these ventilation zippers, there are two of them on the front. I figured I could use this in a little bit warmer weather and be able to ventilate a little bit more. And just because it's a 15 degree bag, of course, you probably can sleep pretty comfortable. They rate it based on how warm it's gonna keep you um, when it gets that cold. So if it's a 15 degree bag, the idea, everyone is different, that you're gonna be warm and comfortable at 15 degrees, but certainly if it's you know 50, 60, I think you could get in this bag and still regulate your temperature and, and be comfortable. They do have this interesting flap up front. Um, they call it like a blanket pillow tuck. I don't really know what they call it. It's supposed to sort of be like, you have a blanket wrapped up with you in bed. I'm kind of indifferent about this. I don't think it's a bad thing. This wasn't a huge selling feature, but it is something a little bit different about these bags. And another cool thing is they have this pillow sleeve. Now, I recently bought my first backpacking pillow and I haven't used it yet, but I knew that I was going to get one. And I think having this sleeve for the pillow, maybe both to keep the pillow a little bit clean, but also to keep it in place, because I know that those pillows can get slippery on this nylon material. And so having that pillow or heck even extra clothes to stuff in there to act as a pillow was another huge sell. And certainly it comes with the hood. Um, this is my first sleeping bag with a hood on it. And it looks like they have the similar weatherproofing up on the hood as well, which makes sense where your head may be touching the tent wall. After doing a lot of research about the type of bag that I should have on the Colorado Trail, a lot of people recommending 20 degree. Now this particular bag came in a 15 and a 30, and I had gone back and forth a lot. Do I want 30, 15? Do I sleep warm? Do I sleep cold? 
it's hard for me to tell. So I ended up going with the 15 degree. I think it's gonna be a good choice in the end. And I would much rather ventilate this sleeping bag because I'm hot than be freezing cold. I have no problem bundling up with other layers, but I think this bag is going to be the perfect fit. Cutting some pounds. It's not the lightest bag on the market. If you're into ultra light gear, a lot of people go with quilts, but I love getting inside and like slipping into the sleeping bag. And that's something I appreciate. And that's worth another pound in my opinion. And they did go ahead and add a little pocket off to the side. Um, it's a little bit small, but I could see, I don't know, it may even be kind of tight for a cell phone, but it may be nice to put kind of some odds and ends in there. It's nice there's a pocket that zips up. A lot of times I sleep with some items to keep them warm. It may be nice to not have those around in my sleeping bag. So I wanna go ahead and get this thing set up. So what we're gonna do now is set up my tent and put this inside. I wanna see how it fits in there, maybe compared to my old one. And of course, just get in it and see if it's comfortable. So I've got the old bag here and obviously the new bag and holding them both up. I mean, all of this compared to this, the weight savings are gonna be very appreciated. So now I'm gonna lay them both out, just kind of see how they compare, then put them in the tent. So right here you can see is old reliable, the old Quest sleeping bag that has gotten me through so many trips next to the new Nemo Disco. Now I think a lot of the weight savings are certainly gonna come from the foot box. Obviously this one is squared out because you have plenty of room and this mummy design saves space in the foot box and as well up top in the head. So let's go ahead and put them in the tent and see how they fit. And as I've covered before, this is a pretty small tent. This bag here, you can see, pretty much goes wall to wall. So that's a little inconvenient. Now, a little bit of foot room down at the bottom, although I probably would never sleep with my head this close to the top, but you can definitely see how much of the tent that this particular sleeping bag takes up. Initially, I will say I'm pretty impressed. Not only do the colors look good on the tent, but in my opinion, it makes my tent look a lot bigger. We've got a lot more room on the sides. Again, a lot of room down there with the foot box. More room on the sides. And again, with the head pretty close to the top. So I will say the first thing that excites me about this sleeping bag is how big it makes my tent feel. Now, of course, nothing changed with my tent, but my biggest concern with the tent was the size and how cramped it felt. And now that I've got the new sleeping bag in here, I'm thinking that was a large part of just my other sleeping bag being bigger. So the mummy design is certainly making me feel a little bit more roomy. If I have gear that I wanna keep in for the night or extra clothes, it feels like there's space for that kind of stuff to put around me. And while that's great that I have more room in my tent, but at the end of the day, it is a sleeping bag. We need to make sure that it's comfortable when I get inside of it. So that's what I'm gonna do next. Oh, there's a lump under my tent. <laughs> Not even a good sleeping bag is gonna fix that. So the sleeping bag is made of nylon with 650 down. I think it's very comfortable as far as the material, how it feels when you get inside of it. It is very hot right now and I don't wanna stay in here very long because I'm sweating thinking about it, but I'm impressed. I know I talked about buying a bag that I could use in different seasons, but I think the reality is in the South where I am, if I'm going backpacking in June, July, or August, my best bet is probably to bring like no sleeping bag or a fleece blanket or something. So I think this bag is gonna be perfect with the ventilation for those in between seasons. It's hard to say if it's gonna stand up to my other sleeping bag when it comes to really frigid freezing conditions, but I'm glad I still have that bag for those types of trips too. This also felt like a really good time to break out this new Sea to Summit premium pillow and test the pillow out, but see how it fits into that sleeve as well. It's really soft. I guess that's the premium part. All right. Inflate. That's me. 
see how many breaths this takes. One. <laughs> I'm impressed. I thought I'd be huffing and puffing for a while. There it is. I like it. It's very lightweight. This thing is like two ounces. It seems comfortable and it's sure as heck gonna beat what I've been doing with extra clothes or laying on my arm or anything like that. I lift the air out. It's a little tight, I will admit, but let's see if we can try that again. I think the air pillow part's gonna be a little difficult to get used to, because obviously as you, like, as you roll on one side, it inflates the other side. Um, but I think this is gonna be good. It may take me a little bit of getting used to. I'm not initially blown away, and maybe I have to play around with how I inflate it. Um, but it sure as heck is gonna beat laying on the ground, and I think this is probably gonna help improve my quality of sleep, which is gonna be important during long days and doing this day after day. Closing thoughts, I think this sleeping bag is going to be a great addition to the pack. I'm very excited about the weight savings and all the little features on this bag. And I'm excited to get to try this out in about a week and a half when I do my first section hike of the Appalachian Trail through the Smoky Mountains. I'll get a chance to really, you know, sleep in this thing or if it's hot, maybe sleep on top of this thing. But regardless, I'm excited to take it out and practice my full pack for the Colorado Trail.